are you guys? We are Hannah and Nathan. And we are in Scotland. In our camper van, Claudia. In our previous video, we waved. Hi, 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 Sky. Sky. Hello, Hello Lake. We found the Hogwarts Express, took a stroll along a beach, stopped off at Glenfinnan Viaduct before arriving in Fort William where I tried my very first whiskey. This morning we are making our way to Falkirk. The weather gave off a bit of a miserable vibe but we soon spotted these two ray of sunshine through the drizzle. So uh, we're just on our way to Stirling Castle and there's these two Highland coos, one's called Hamish, one's called Honey and we've just bought a bag of food for them uh, and yeah the one's just coming over and that was Hamish coming over for a feed. Are you gonna have my eye out? <laughs> you want my hand as well? You are wet and soggy, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. Where's Honey? Hamish is greedy, but yeah. Honey's not bothered, is she? No, ha Hamish is having all of the food. Honey's just, uh, she's happy with the high off thing. What's the more If any of you do stumble across Trossach's Woollen Mill, be sure to pull in for a break. A bag of fresh vegetables can be purchased from the shop for Hamish and Honey to enjoy. Back on the road again with our spirits lifted. It wasn't too long until we caught sight of Stirling Castle. In the knowledge of knowing that this castle is one of the largest in Scotland, we were super excited to be here. A bit of faffing first to make sure that we were fully equipped for this Scottish weather. We then entered the grounds of... Stirling Castle! Stirling Castle dates back from at least the early 12th century and it has also been well restored over the years. So the cafe here must be fit for a princess. Unicorn cafe here. Unicorn as well, so let's go. After a caffeine boost and a warm through, we stepped back outside to explore the castle gardens. The gardens are so pretty and well maintained. So we're about done now at Stirling Castle. It's been a pretty nice afternoon for us, hasn't it? It has, yeah, it's been really nice. Uh, it's very similar to Edinburgh Castle. Um, it has been lovely, hasn't it? Yeah, it has, yeah. The next stop is just over there. Yeah, there's just a, a monument over there, which I'm sure will offer some nice views of Stirling Castle. Let's go. So yeah, we've just spent about two and a half hours here at Stirling Castle, which has been really good. Um, this time last year, we was in this exact same spot, looking exactly in front of us at that view, um, because we wanted to do Stirling Castle this time last year on the back end of our NC500 road trip. But unfortunately last year, there was no spaces left, was there? Yeah, we had no ticket. We, we had no ticket, so it was like, oh, maybe next time and then next time it's been and done we, we've been here booked the ticket been around the castle so yeah yeah because we had no plan from when we left sky uh, and we thought this was just the right plan yeah it just felt right meant to, to be meant to be that's it we have arrived at the monument but we are not off to the best of starts. We have to use the camera instead. Take that and that. Oh. <laughs> oh, 
all aboard! Choo-choo! So that big thing just behind is the Wallace Monument of Stirling. And that there is Stirling Castle. We walked the blue route back down the hill through the woodland and continued our journey to Falkirk. We parked up at the Falkirk Wheel to enjoy our dinner and watch an amazing sunset. The Falkirk Wheel is a rotating boat lift that connects the Forth and the Clyde Canal with the Union Canal. It's generally a very epic structure. What an unusual place to chill. The vibe here was very calming and we took the time out to really sit and soak up this stunning scene. Moving on for the last time today because tonight's park up is at the, the Kelpies! Good morning. Good morning. It is about 7am and we've just woke up and we're leaving the van to go and see the Kelpies at sunrise. We are. Sunrise at the Kelpies. Tick. This morning we have a spring in our step as we head to our favourite UK city break destination. As Claudia is a tall girl, we ended up parking on the outskirts of the city as the centre car parks had height barriers. However, a short walk later and we was on top of Carton Hill which had an impressive view of Edinburgh! We visited this beautiful city in August last year. You can find our more in-depth vlog from that trip on our Scotland playlist. As this was the last full day of our holiday, we spent it walking around, taking in the unique feel that Edinburgh has to offer. We enjoyed lots of yummy food as well as making the most of the epic bars and gin festival. This was for sure a brilliant end to our 2021 Scotland road trip. Last night in Edinburgh and the boss is bringing in the goods. Tack! So guys, that's a wrap. That was the sixth and final video of our 2021 Scotland road trip. Yeah, what an epic road trip it's been. It's been great fun traveling around and making these vlogs. And we're glad that we took some of you along with us too. Yeah, I mean, we've had an amazing time in Scotland. It's been brilliant and, you know, putting these videos together, it's been so much fun for us. And then to have feedback from you guys as well, it's really appreciated. You know who you are, the people who have commented. Thank you very much. And even those of you who have given us a thumbs up, that's very much appreciated as well. Yeah, and for those that haven't, those that are new and you want to follow along on the adventures, then click subscribe because we've got new ones coming and what's, what's going to be next? So next time, uh, what we're going to do for Christmas, um, we've got a quirky stay booked in a silo grain bin and this has been booked since May already so super excited for that. Yeah, finger crossed we make it and we'll see you there. Cheers guys. <laughs>